Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 through 2 To everything there is a season and a time for every matter or purpose under heaven, time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. Everything that happens in the physical world is controlled by the forces of time and the same with everything that is happening in your life. When it is your time, no devil and no witch or human factor can stop it. And if it is not your time, you can't force it to be. Of all that is happening in life, God is the only one in charge of time and season. And He relates with His people here on earth according to the reflection of their time and season. Because He said, after that, a man made a sacrifice that pleased him, then God instituted that natural phenomenon to command the flow of the substance of humans on earth. Genesis 8 verse 20 through 22 And Noah built an altar to the Lord and took off every clean four-footed animal and of every clean fowl and bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. When the Lord smelled the pleasing odor, a scent of satisfaction to his heart, the Lord said to himself, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the imagination, the strong desire of man's heart is evil and wicked from his youth. Neither will I ever again smite and destroy every living thing as I have done while the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. God did not just institute such phenomenal without giving working out the knowledge that will understand the occurrence of anything that is controlled and commanded by time and season. That means whenever it is the time for anything to happen, there is always time and those that understand the sign will be able to decode what the voice of the season are saying. What is about to happen in the land or the life of a person? Like the children of Issachar, 1 Chronicle 12 verse 32. And of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, 200 chiefs and all the kinsmen were under their command. Some signs that show you are about to enter your best season in life. End of struggle. You are observing and seeing that new things are happening in your life. Things that you cannot explain how it is happening because you do not understand the way and how it is happening. You just know that thing has stopped working the way it used to before and now it has taken a new turn for you. Those things that you have always struggled to do or those things that you have always struggled for, those difficulties and hardships in your life which are the reason you have not been enjoying a good season. When you are about to have a trip of luxury to refreshing yourself, one difficult situation will just come and deny you that treat. You will start seeing that it is not happening again. With little effort, you now achieve great results, unlike before that you exact and invest much effort into something, and in the end, what you get as a result is not even worth a measure of your input into that venture. Things begin to work out themselves instead of the struggle you go through before. This is a sign that you are about to enter into your best season. Restoration. Another sign is that you will begin to experience restoration from the Lord. Over time, there are some resourceful values and prospects that you may have lost, like good people and helpful people, leaving your life and families and friends, walking out of your life with nobody to help. 
Since then, you are on your own with God on the journey of life. Note that God will still use human beings for you. So now that your season has come, God will begin to return those people that he has blessed to bless you to begin to come to your life. Because they are the instrument God has brought to your life to bless you. But because it is not your time and because the devil does not want you to be blessed, they will find one fault that will make them let go of you and excuse your life. But when God remembers to bless you, they will begin to see reasons to link up with you so that they will fulfill the destiny assigned to them. When you start to see helpful people, people that will help you and motivate you to achieve something, people that will stand by you and give you all the support that you need, then you have to know that it's your time and your season and you are about to enter into your best season. Revived enthusiasm. Failure starts with a lack of interest and success begins when interest is ignited. Academic success and excellence do not come because you started reading and studying. But it started when you develop an interest to have an excellent academic outcome. This drives you into engaging in things that will help you achieve your aims and objectives. It is God that is doing these things in you to make you willing and able to obtain the promises that he has made to you. The willingness to do more and achieve more will always be paramount in you. Those things that you are not feeling right to do before, you will begin to do them and your life will begin to see the reason. You have to suspend every distraction that has been responsible for your failures over the years. You become angry and will want to do anything to ensure that you break out from that situation that you have been in for a long time. There will be the usual eruption of zeal and power emanating from you that you have not seen before. You want to do it and you believe you can do it. Not like before that you first tell yourself that this is too difficult for you. You begin to motivate yourself by yourself. These things will be strange to you but the truth is that it is God stirring up this force in you because he wants you to be revived in your thought so that he will take away faithlessness in you and revive faith in you that will bring to manifestation what he wants to do in your life. All these are signs that God has employed to communicate to you that you have switched over. You have entered into a new season in your life and the new season now is not just as it has always been before. Now you will begin to experience the best events and the most blessed occurrence in your life which will make it the best season for you. God will bring the best people into your life and give you a renewed energy that you will run with to lead you into your blessings. All this is God working in you to will and to do his own good pleasure. It is a sign that the best seasons of your life have started. Remember, whatever God does is perfect. And when God this best and blessed seasons for you, all the days of your life will be blessed. Your dreams. Something is particular about the move of the Lord. There is no time that God will want to do something that he will not reveal it to the people that are called his children. Nothing happens on earth without God telling or revealing it to someone. That is the same thing here when you are about to enter into your best and blessed season. God will begin to communicate to you through your dreams. Where you are a crown king, where you are celebrating or celebrated, 
you just see yourself in a position that is good and great in your dream. That is God revealing to you that you are no more in that level where you are always struggling with everything. Now you are about to enter into your best season. God is not just revealing this to you in the dream because he wants you to know only but the essence is to put you on alert so that you can begin to travel for it in the place of prayer so that you will start praying about it and when you begin to pray about it you begin to call it forth to yourself it has been given to you by God and that is your level and identity in the spirit like Joseph he saw himself already in the future while he is still away from it. That is what God will do to show you as a sign that you have received favor from the Lord and you are about to enter into your best season. Those that have neglected you in times past will be the ones to celebrate you and God will bring them back to you. Do not give up. Keep pressing. It is not over until it is over. God is not done with you at all. Keep your faith burning and alive. You are about to testify to the goodness of the Lord in your life. Do not mind the distractions that the devil will bring to you now. Because the devil does not quit till the last minute. Be strong and do not compromise your stand. You will shout for joy at the end of the whole journey.